All right, here it is, Sunday. It's a little chilly out, frosty morning. Let's see what temperature we got in here. Oh my gosh, it's 42. Better crank up the heater. You can't tell it, but I'm still organizing. I haven't hit a lick at building nothing, but anyways, the young man's helping me out, and he's coming up with this phrase, am I gonna get paid? Well, he gets fed. So, but I'm gonna pay him. It's good to build a little uh, work reward ethic, in my opinion. You know, everybody don't get a trophy in real life. So I was cleaning under my workbench a little bit here, because you know that was a jumbled mess. Look what I found: a Pexto bead roller. Let's see if it works. Well, I didn't keep it very straight, did I? But that's for making stove pipes. I guess if you had other dyes, you could do something else with it. But that's the that's the real deal there, Pex stole. No, it's not battery powered. It's Man powered, see here? So how do you work it? You stick your piece in there, you back this off, get your piece started. Then you crank it down a little bit, a little bit more. Alright, now you want to try to hold it straight. I can't do that and hold the camera. But see it's moving. Move it back that way. You can do it. Don't get your fingers in there. Fingers out. We didn't have it cranked down very hard. but Still put the end in it. Put it back in there. Well, we gotta loosen it up, silly, silly us. All right, crank it down. Crank it right down. Like you mean business. All right, now hold it straight. See there? Kind of did something. Yeah, it's not really meant for crimping. 18 gauge probably. But uh, probably more like 22, but that's pretty cool nevertheless. Here's some other stuff I found under my bench. Nice snap-on vise missing a jaw. I ought to go on and order that. A Craftsman vise. Uh, some other kind of vise. Big tubing cutters. A couple rigid pipe wrenches. Yep. Oh, and I found this. I must have dropped my Sharpie. And then I cut a piece of metal and it fell on my Sharpie. But check it out. Sharpie's still good. So I guess we better keep it. All right. I put the Pexto uh, bead roller right there because I never use it. It isn't often I need to make a stove pipe. But I hate to get rid of it. I could probably make some new dies for it on that lathe right there. You know, when I get time. But I think I'm going to be done cleaning for today. I need to uh, I need to do this tailgate. I'm not sure if it's uh, me trying to not work on the tailgate because I don't want to. Or an uncontrollable need to tidy up. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's one or the other. Look who's back! It's him! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm done cleaning for the day. I probably should do a lot more cleaning. But look at that workbench. It's spotless! It's warmed up enough where I've opened the door. And, uh, let the sun shine in. 
I've eaten some lunch. I smoked a chicken, so I ate some of that in a sandwich. Actually, not a sandwich, a low carb burrito. I had a sandwich. He had a sandwich. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, but I'm going to quit procrastinating. I'm going to work on this here tailgate. And one of the first things I'm going to need to do is get this out the way because I don't like it. I'm going to redo that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the plasma cutter and cut it right there. And then I'm going to be married to it and I'm going to have to get after it and I'm going to have to build it and get it done. And another thing I've been thinking about is maybe we should start doing a comment of the month or something like that. You know, some of you people have pretty funny comments. Some of you just jerks, but I guess it takes all kinds. Some of you don't have any content or anything on your channel, but got plenty of advice. Uh, maybe you should show us by example. You know, that's thought. Um, but you don't have to. I mean, currently this is a free country. May not be after a while. All right, I removed the barrel of block bearings. I didn't like that worth a darn. But I think I'm still going to use the bearings. I'm just going to make a different mount. I like the idea of the bearing. I think it's a good idea. I think all you got to do is pop that collar right there off. And then there's some slots there in the side. And turn the bearing sideways and it comes right out of the pillow block. And then I can make a new one. More fitting to the uh, style of the truck. And mount it there that way it's out the way I'll just have to cut this and make it longer <laughs> all right now I'm just gonna take the plasma cutter and I'm gonna use that frame rail in the back as a guide and cut the excess off just cut it right off and then I'm married to it all right I sliced off the bottom of the tailgate and that's the part I don't like it's gonna be real thin right there but I don't know what to do about it. It's got to be done. And I ain't cutting the frame rail, so that's the way that is. But let me show you about the pillow, bro pillow block bearing. What you do is you take that, them set screws there loose, and then that bearing just rolls right out of the holder. See there, it's got them little slots. Ain't that ingenious? Somebody who plays Xbox all day wouldn't know nothing about that. I don't have my Xbox anymore, don't that's you? That's know? right, that's right. I smoked it. Not exactly, it just kind of... It don't work no more. <laughs> well, it kind of does, kind of doesn't. Anyways, that's another subject. Alright, let me show you what I'm doing. I found a piece of pipe. I ain't really sure what that's from. I think it's from maybe the steering column off that... 46 when I shortened it up maybe so that's appropriate and uh, using this little thing I put in my vise I rolled the edges over like that as you see the top of that bearing is a little round and then that will fit in there like so and come up again it like that so I'm going to have the same thing, only different and less ugly, is my plan. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Same thing, only different yeah. and less ugly? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is what I've been spending an inordinate amount of time doing. Inordinate. Not in inordinate. Inordinate amount of time. I've been making new bearing covers. I don't know why I'm so bent on the bearings, but I just am, and you're just going to have to get used to it. i got to make something more better here and cover this up. But, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about. And I've got to cut this, the tubing that goes between here, and make it longer. So I'll show you how I do that. What's it, Daisy? Daisy, come here. Quit licking my fingers. Quit! They're not tasty. It's grease. Sit. Shake. All right. 
So I turned the camera off and he says... How are you going to cut it and make it longer? <laughs> Doesn't that make it shorter? Well, technically, but... It's just what I got to do. I'll show you. He's running the lathe. Look at him. All right, I can't really remember where I've been, where I filmed last, because me and the young man here been talking and telling stories from my youth when I was a young man. You didn't know I was nuts, did you? <laughs> well. All right, well, don't tell nobody. Um, anyway, I cut this thing, this bar here, and made it longer. And how I did that was, I didn't even show it. I got a piece of one inch stock and uh, put it on the lathe and turned it down to the inside diameter here about three inches same thing on that side and put it in you see I got a gap there but that's okay don't hold it again me and then we put it together and tacked it up and you can see she's pretty straight not perfect but and then I made these little uh, I gotta make them look better than that but bent them little pieces over and I got my bearings in there so it's gonna have the bearings but I just gotta come up with something to make that look more better but now I've got to build the tailgate so I mock up this piece right here that should go on there about like that and once I determine everything's working correctly it's gonna wind up just about like that right there so I still a lot of work left to do on the tailgate I expect to get it done by episode 557 well, how many are we at? I don't know like 10 so <laughs> so <sighs> it's late I'm going in I'm hungry but I got next week off so I'm gonna be I'll be back I'm a I'm a be back you know what that means? I'm a bee? I think that's like a hip hop song or something like that. Alright. I'm not going to ring the bell because I'm going to come back tomorrow.